Daniel Ladge and Amir Ali speaking to Ria Chatterjee. Still to come. But first, nine Insulate Britain protesters have been jailed for defying a ban on blocking the M25. The activists began a wave of campaigning two months ago, blocking the motorway and other London roads. Today, as a judge handed down sentences ranging from between three and six months, the group vowed to continue their protests. Now, drivers using a mobile phone or not wearing a seat belt are the focus of a new crackdown on the M25. Police officers in unmarked lorry cabs are on patrol over the next fortnight, using the raised driving position to catch those breaking the law. It's hoped the new super cabs will help prevent dangerous driving. Well, Kit Bradshaw joined one of the units out on patrol. The Queen was back to face-to-face -face duties at Windsor Castle today. She was holding... The ITV News continues with the national and international stories at 6.30. Here's Mary with the details. Next from us, the original cast of Harry Potter getting back together for a reunion at the Hertfordshire Studios where the magic began. Our top story tonight, Northwick Park, one of London. Time for the weather now is Ashling. Now, Stratford's Olympic Park has seen many world records broken in its short history and now the park has served as a backdrop for another attempt at global glory, the most consecutive cars jumped over on a pogo stick. American Tyler Phillips bounced over five black caps to launch himself into the record books. Helen Keenan went to meet him. Well, if that wasn't uh, enough for you, a tennis star, Emma Raducanu, and Arsenal footballer, Bukayo Saka, are among the young sporting stars honoured in a limited edition of the Beano. On and that's it. We're back with the latest after ITV News at 10. Coming up, Mary with the ITV Evening News. But from me and the rest of the London team, bye-bye.